The vast Chicago auto show was first staged in 1901, and this year electric vehicles or EVs are taking centre stage. It comes after Stellantis, the manufacturer behind brands such as Dodge and Jeep, decided to skip the event this time round. But that absence has allowed EV makers to step in. It's cutthroat right now. Um, those new players are pushing the, the legacy automakers to uh, advance quicker and find new solutions to compete with these new technologies. I think everything is still growing pretty full steam ahead. The electric vehicle market has taken a hit in recent weeks following a series of negative reports focusing on how EVs have struggled to charge in the extreme cold, impacting efficiency and range. But here at this auto show, there are a couple of people who are looking to change those perceptions. Chris and Julie Ramsey are husband and wife adventurers. Last year they completed a 30,000 kilometre journey to the South Pole from Antarctica in an all-electric Nissan Aria. Well, the purpose behind this is to show people and demonstrate to people the true capability of electric vehicles. There's still a lot of myths out there. There's still a lot of people thinking, oh, an EV can't do this because of X, Y, Z. There's just so many of those common myths that we thought, look, why don't we do this, take this car, and just debunk these myths. Looking at an area that's just been taken from effectively from the showroom. Off the factory floor, we put big tires on it. One of the things for us is education. It's educating people about how you can operate EVs in that extreme cold, because they can handle it. It's just sometimes come down to knowledge and experience. It was minus 39. And then you've got wind chill on top of that, which makes it even colder. And this car performed absolutely fine. The Chicago Auto Show has seen plenty of changes over the years. But the pace of change, with new EV makers continuing to emerge, looks set to accelerate in the coming years. Dan Williams, CGTN, Chicago.